All right, I'm here at NVIDIA GTC 2024, and look who I have with me, Chet Kapoor, CEO and Chairman at DataStax. Uh, Chet, welcome to The Robert Show. Long due. Uh, I've really waited for this and wanted to chat for, with you for a long time. Uh, thanks for visiting you. Thank you very much for the kind words. I'm really looking forward to this conversation. Awesome. Uh, Chad, I know there are a lot of exciting announcements that are going to happen at NVIDIA. And obviously, AI is talk of the town as well. Do you want to share a little about what are you most excited about NVIDIA, some announcements as well? Um, so I'll, I'll actually date this um, a little bit because I think it'll help on why we are so excited about this. Obviously, we started tracking, you know, ChatGPT and right. all the Transformer stuff from Google since we're ex-Googlers. Um, we've been watching all that. And obviously, NVIDIA has been, I mean, if you think about the AI revolution, right? A lot of it started at, you know, Gen AI stuff started at Google. And then, but OpenAI and NVIDIA are the two companies that really capitalized on it. And then Microsoft participated and things mm. like that. So we've been watching NVIDIA afar. And then I was at a conference, um, and I don't go to many of these. This is one that I go to uh, uh, in in Spanish Bay. And, and, in, and Jensen was one of the speakers. Right. Um, I was very impressed. And the reason I was impressed is because, you know, from afar, you look at NVIDIA and you say, GPUs, they've been doing it for a long time, right? right? And things like that, and, and they are using GPUs. And what was the most interesting thing for me, in this is like middle of September, mm. was that he talked about everything that we are executing on, right? As a chip guy, he was talking about RAG, he was talking about AI data centers, he was talking about software, he was talking about how do you make it easier, how do you make it cheaper for developers. I was like, whoa, like what is going on here, right? I mean, this is, is he a, is this a chip company? Is this a software company? Because, and, and he went on and on about how he needs to learn and really getting into the space. And so I literally came back, I talked to the leadership team and said, you know, Whatever, whatever list of partners we're working with, let's make sure NVIDIA is in the top three. Wow. Right? Yeah. And so we actually went head in first, and obviously GTC becomes a compelling event. And so we, we obviously have done this long enough and, you know, and have a reputation, so we contacted the right people. Mm. We had a lot of good contacts, and we've had a phenomenal, phenomenal partnership since then, which, which I'm really excited about. Okay, this is amazing. And uh, definitely, that's one of the things as well that I'm kind of uh, looking at NVIDIA since the last, say, nine months. Yeah. And I have seen... Beyond the stock. Beyond the stock. <laughs> <laughs> stock is like, boom. Yeah, yeah. I, I yeah. loved it. And, uh, but it all made sense because if someone's kind of following the journey, they, yeah. like you, you know what they're talking about is something which is pretty Correct. interesting. We've always looked at NVIDIA as chip company yeah. and coming, you know. He never used the word chip, chip. in his entire one hour discussion. Oh. Never, 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 ever, not once. Oh my God, because that's that's a strong product already. Yeah, but yeah. They were obviously, uh, you know, Jensen has that, uh, you know, capability where Correct. it kind of goes into the game, deeper into the AI game. Correct. And we're seeing all the results coming Correct. out. Also, since we are on this topic of partnership, so how does, um, you know, the partnership look like with NVIDIA? Do you want to share a little bit? So um, we are announcing today, I believe, um, we're announcing a partnership where we are using their embedding service. So so what does that mean? Hmm. Um, everybody understands LLMs and prompts and things like that. Everybody understands that. What a lot of people don't understand, and a lot of people are starting to get it because it's early days, is that you, you cannot, you have to use LLMs for content but you have to get context from enterprise data, right. which is stored inside a database and it is vectorized and things like that. To, if, you, if you need to, to, to vectorize that data, mm -hmm. you need to use an embedding service. Right. You can use OpenAI. NVIDIA has, and by the way, there are many of them, right? Vertex, many of them. Um, NVIDIA has an embedding service mm -hmm. uh, that they're gonna talk a lot about at the conference. I won't give you the name, but they have an embedding service. And we are announcing a partnership with a product called Ragstack, which is our, which are, which is basically how you build rag style applications on a nice. vector database. And we have now shown that using the NVIDIA embedding service and indexing, we can do embeddings um, literally 20x faster than anything else in the industry wow. and 80% cheaper. 20x faster and 80% cheaper. 
good news for the AI engineers. For that sure. very much so, because I generally, if I just zoom out of NVIDIA and data stacks, I think that there is a real risk that generative AI does not take off mm -hmm. because of costs, ease of use, right. and scale. Exactly. If you do not get those things going, you're going to have a problem. And so it's funny, I was talking to one of our one of our top customers, Physicswala, yeah. right? They're, um, they're based in India, and think of them as, you know, um, Khan Academy on steroids, yeah. right? Is the, the best way. Oh India. my God, yeah. they are massive. And um, and for those of you in, in your audience that don't know, Physicswala is a purveyor of physics, physics, is probably the best way to translate it. And six million users, and they are using this service, that they, they, they are actually going out and saying, I'll do support 28 languages, ask me the question anytime, I'll be able to answer it. They have AI bots, wow. it's all, they're all using data stacks. But as I was talking to them just this morning, like early this morning, and I said, what are the problems you have? He said, we've got to figure out a way to reduce costs because costs. if the costs keep going up, exactly. and so that's why I'm really excited about the NVIDIA partnership. Mm, okay, so cost is definitely one. A big, big and by the way, speed of embeddings. Yeah. Because exactly. speed matters, right? You want to make sure that you can get stuff really quick in and out. So that also helps to scale. To be very honest. much so, very okay. much so. And you know, again, it goes back to my earlier story. The, um, you know, watching Jensen talk about software and talk about how this is important. And again, I think, I think this conference, people will have a different view of who NVIDIA is. Mm -hmm. Not knowing anything about Jensen's keynote, I think that's going to be the number one focus. It's talk of the town, for sure. Correct, for uh, sure. Uh, all right, so also I heard about uh, a new f developer feature that you guys came up with, yes. that is Vectorize, right? Uh, and I know the team. Like, that's my that's my happy dance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure the developer's already excited, but can you tell us a little more about it? So if you if you think about, it's a, it, the feature's called Vectorize, and if you really think about a developer's world, hmm. right? Um, what do developers care about? They care about ease of development. Exactly. Right? That's yeah. because they, they want all things that they do, all mundane tasks, mm -hmm. to be kind of sort of automated for them yeah. so that they can focus on really building the best functionality that the app needs. In a Gen AI world, relevance is something that they need to focus on. Mm -hmm. Because before this wave, right, having gone through client server, web, mobile, cloud, you only focused on two things, ease of development and scale. Now we have a third component, right. which is relevance. So developers need to focus on relevance. Doing embeddings is not easy for developers. Right. And so what we've done with Vectorize is that we've given you an option to take away the manual work that developers have to do, mm -hmm. to go off and you know Im do embeddings for everything. What are embeddings? They're basically coordinates that you go off and actually put into a vector database that you can search mm. as you go forward. And so how do you make that easy? And on top of that, what we've done is we're going to give people the choice of picking whatever embedding service they want. Mm. But we've made it easier for the developer so that they can either do it in real time or they can do it through bulk. We've made it really easy for them to take existing data or new data and actually create embeddings that can be stored in a vector database. So they don't have to worry about it, it just had, happens automatically. Okay, this is this very cool feature that you've come, kind of come up with. I'm gonna share a link once it's out there with our audience and with the developers as well. Very much so. I'm pretty sure they're super happy about it. Uh, this is one of those things that, you know, a lot of people say, ah, why didn't we think about this? Yeah, exactly. Right, it literally is one of those, like we were like, we were we literally were working through what we were doing with NVIDIA and we like, we should just feature, we should just make this a feature and that's how it came about. It's about, you know, also thinking about the developers and data yes. stacks has always done that. Uh, yes. You'll kind of make the, try to make their life easier Correct. and better and faster. Our, one of the things, like if you really think about our roots, our roots come from scale, right? Which so, is Cassandra and things like that. But over the last five, four, five years, what we've done is we've said, it's about the app. It's about the app developer that uses the database, so hence the product called Ragstack. Go up beyond the database and make it really easy mm -hmm. for people to build you know, rag-based applications, and hence the feature called Vectorize. Lovely, uh, thanks for sharing those insights. Uh, quick question in terms of coming back to the partnership as well. I, I'm kind of curious about uh, the customers as well, because once you kind of announce more uh, you know, in-depth partnership in NVIDIA, how is it gonna help them? 
any use cases that you would want to share? Like physics wala is amazing use case that you've shared, but a little with the NVDA. So it's so it's so a little bit it's a very interesting perspective and, and hopefully this this answers your question. Um, we think about our customer base as, you know, in two segments. There's an enterprise customer base, mm -hmm. there is an SMB customer base. And the SMBs are AI natives, but they could be larger companies that are billion dollars or $10 billion. Not like Verizon, which is, you know, a $200 billion company, right? So something, they're large customers and they're small customers. So what's really interesting about the small customers is that they have, don't necessarily have access to GPUs. Mm. Right, and they are starting to have access to it, but they don't have it yet. But they're all starting to ask the the, the hyperscalers to give them GPU services, right. which is awesome because they're already using our technology, and now they're like, okay, we've proven it out, it works for our business, now we want to start scaling it. Mm. So we're seeing many examples of that starting to show up because, quite frankly, the AI natives and the smaller companies actually implement things faster, faster. and they grow fast also. Now, the only problem is they don't all grow, right, because they are all experimenting. Right. But when, when somebody grows, it grows very fast. I'll give you an example in the cloud world. It is yeah. not uncommon for a $1,000 customer to become a $5, five million ARR customer for us in less than 12 months, mm. and sometimes even shorter than that. So it depends on how fast the app grows. On the enterprise side, I get a chance to talk to a lot of CIOs. Right. And so... Every CIO I talk to says one of two things about NVIDIA. Either I'm working on it yeah. or I'm going to be working on it. Huh. And so they are building a relationship directly with them. What is interesting though, and I'm hoping Jensen's keynote changes it, it is mostly about still them leveraging GPUs to lower mm, costs. Exactly. So they are going with the AI data center concept. I don't think they have completely grokked that you know, NVIDIA has a lot of software assets mm -hmm. and a billion dollar plus business in that space right. that they can also capitalize on. And so our partnership with NVIDIA, just to be very clear, is A, to make sure we can take this embedding service we talked about that's 20x faster, 80% cheaper, take it to AI companies and to smaller, company, you know, smaller companies like right. that who can leverage it right away, but also to take it to enterprises because they will get mm. massive benefit, exactly. right, in making this happen. Now, do we have joint customers? Not yet, and the reason we don't is because we just, this is coming in fairly hot, yeah. And but I would say the next time we get a chance to talk, I'll be surprised if we don't have a handful or two handful of customers using I it. I mean, wait. the value proposition is so strong mm -hmm. that I cannot see why a customer won't use it. This is amazing, uh, Chet. Uh, you know, I can't wait to see the partnership getting into the depth. I'm looking forward to Jensen's keynote as well. And definitely, I think Enterprise AI is one of the hottest thing that's going to happen in 2024 as well. Like, I was talking to a, a leader who's, uh, you know, in Unilever, and he had similar insights. What are you just talking about? Like, I can resonate it so well. So uh, thanks for doing this again, and I can't wait to you know see all the announcements that Data Stacks will be making. Absolutely, we are maniacally focused on one thing for 2024, and we were just talking about yeah. this before the interview, which is we think that 2024 is going to be about production AI, mm. and so our goal is very simple. Whether you're a small customer, you're a startup, you're a mid-sized company, you're a large customer, our goal is to through our partnerships and ecosystems. We want to make sure we give you as much technology as we can so that you can actually go into production as quickly as possible. Because we really think that 23 was the year of thinking and thinking. experimenting. Oh. 24 is about going into production. production. And, the, and the speed at which customers want to go into production, even large $100 billion companies, it's absolutely amazing. Wow. It's like thrilling to see. Yeah, I can't wait. Definitely looking forward to it. And uh, thanks for sharing all the insights. Uh, the next thing uh, is for our audience, if they want to reach out to you, uh, which is the best place? Like, is it LinkedIn or? Uh... Uh, LinkedIn works really well. Okay. Uh, and so uh, you can also send emails directly to me. Okay. And so, uh, and I'm sure you can show the email. It's chatperiodkapoor at datastacks.com. Fantastic. Chet, thanks again for doing this. I uh, can't wait for all the announcements and uh, definitely looking forward to chatting with you more on the Robert Show. Awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone.